very good morning to the respected director sir my dear colleagues and student friends i am dr tun kanti gondwadda head department of bioengineering and assistant professor in chemical engineering department i welcome you all to nit agartala on behalf of department of bioengineering in this presentation i would like to brief about the department of bioengineering the department of bioengineering has been started in the academic year 2012-13 with four year btech course in bioengineering with student intake capacity of 30 in 2019 keeping in mind the job prospects of the students the program has been reformed into biotechnology and biochemical engineering thus the students took admission in the years from 2012 to 2018 obtained their btech degree in bioengineering from the year 2019 the btech degree is offered in the field of biotechnology and biochemical engineering the department has also commence the phd course in bioengineering from the year 2018 and mtech course in biotechnology and biochemical engineering with student intake of 6 per year from the year 2019 the discipline of bioengineering is inherently interdisciplinary in nature as you must be knowing the knowledge of different branches and sub branches of biological science and engineering usually consider far apart from one another intermingled to form the branch the faculty members of the department have been chosen to cater the unique demands of the interdisciplinary study. The vision of the department is to produce the bright young professionals by quality education and research in the emerging field of biotechnology and biochemical engineering to fill the societal commitments as per global standard. The mission of the department is to impart quality education for fundamental knowledge in engineering, science and technology with social responsibilities to develop the engineering background of students towards employability, entrepreneurship, research and higher studies to develop continuous improvement in teaching, learning process through interactive sessions, industry academic interaction to make good human beings possessing professional ethics. Five batches have passed out in their B.Tech degree from the Department of Bioengineering with flying colors. Many of the students have opted for higher studies and shown increased interest in research-oriented career. In average, over 20% of the students clear gate every year and about 30 to 50% of students opt for industrial jobs. The students usually get admission in various IITs and NITs for higher studies I am also proud to mention that many students have got admissions in top universities in the world, especially in European countries, in general IT industries, target our students in bulk. However, many students are also recruited by core companies such as Immunosoft, Heterodox, and companies involved in medical coding, by instrumentation, etc. The first batch of MTech PG degree will be passing out from the department in this academic year. Five MTech students from two batches are currently studying in the department and four PhD students are working in the department of bioengineering. This slide gives a glimpse of few IT and other companies that have visited NIT Agartala for recruitment. In addition, the students have also joined different IDs and NITs in India and also universities in abroad as mentioned earlier. A biotechnology and biochemical engineer may work any of the fields of research centers, biotechnology departments, biotechnology product management companies, biopharmaceutical companies, biochemistry sales centers, and chemical plants. An engineer in this field may work as a professor, assistant professor, or lecturer in colleges and universities, executives, lab assistants, sales manager, biotechnology expert, instructor, business development executives or as a marketing executive. Biochemical engineering and biotechnology is an emerging field which has many promising career aspects. If a person is desirous of pursuing further research, he should think of considering a dual degree. This dual degree will involve one dedicated year of project year and hook up electives through which the students can decide his hard path of interest for those who are thinking of taking up a job after the degree, the BTEC program might be a better choice. It is also very important to note that 
over 600 new biotechnology startups have started is functioning over the years in India and regions like Sunflower, Biocon, Hijar, Starling Biotech, Jesus Candida, Nomenogens, Immunogen, Tatodias, Dr. Ledis Lab, etc. have also developed plants in India which require manpower from the respective field of bioengineering and chemical engineering. So a huge career prospect is expected in the coming years. The department headed by me comprises of seven faculties out of which six holds doctorate degree and three possesses postdoctoral experience from university in abroad. They cover the wide area ranging from genetic engineering, bioprocess engineering, industrial microbiology, food technology to drug development, bioengineering production, biostimulation and biomechanics. The faculties cover expertise to teach the theoretical and practical aspects of the different facets of bioengineering. The department has also two lab assistants, Ms. Subha Chaudhuri M.Tech Biomedical Engineering and Ms. Malavika Sarkar B.Tech Biotechnology along with one technical assistant Mr. Anjit Tirvarma, IT, IDP, Janus and GPR and two peers. There are over 13 different lab courses in the department with necessary facilities shared in five different laboratory rooms. In total, 11 different UG laboratory facilities and two PG lab facilities are developed. New era's high-end equipment are available in the department worth of over rupees 2.5 crores, which includes lab scale, photobioreactor, benched of fermenter, MPLC, EV vision spectrophotometer, optical and inverted microscope, algal growth chamber, and many more. The department has four funding projects worth over rupees 1.25 crores and many more yet to be received. Faculty members of the department are working continuously and publish over 10 to 20 peer review articles, three to four book chapters in a year. The faculty members of the department also have filed a patent and associated as editorial board member of various SCI journals. Department has designed a website to extract the information for various toxic chemicals. Faculty members are actively involved in guiding PhD scholars and conducting summer and winter training programs which also have generated revenue for the department in the past years. Many members are invited as a guest lecturers as new Silong and university colleges in and out of Tipura. Students are also actively participating in many OMNIAS conferences. A glimpse of one of such national seminar programs organized at NIT Agartala by Department of Bioengineering in the year of 2019 entitled Modern Tense in Biotechnology for Innovation in Food Biotechnology and Medical Biotechnology with eminent professors from ICT Mumbai, IIT Guwahati, Tibura University, State Essesa. I also proud to mention that the department has been awarded for conducting several seminar workshops and training programs in NIT Agartala. Faculty members are also involved in various administrative roles such as wardens, faculty coordinators, members of centers for rural and tribal development, center for career development, Unnat Bharat Obhijan Esheza. The department targets to increase research output in terms of publications, patents, book, book chapters and technology transfers to excel in postgraduate programs to increase the collaborative works to bolster industry academic relationship all departments like mechanical, electrical, instrumentation, electronics, chemical, physics, chemistry, computer science are performing research for application in biology with interdisciplinary approach. This is a God gifted department which finds application for food, feed, waste treatment to pharmaceutical products, life saving equipment, and biological molecules for carrying several dead food disease syndromes. In addition, many disciplines are inspired from the basic biological concepts that run the human systems such as artificial neural networks inspired from the natural neural networks that runs through every higher living organisms. Another simple example would be the utilization of enzymes which hugely replace the use of chemical catalysts in pharma and chemical industries. The students can simply realize the importance of this particular department from the current need for a vaccine against the pandemic situation caused by coronavirus, which disturbed the world economy drastically. Once again, I welcome all the students who have joined the Department of Bioengineering at NIT Agartala and wish you all the best future 
with the knowledge and prosperity thank you